So budget stuff. We all see budget stuff online and we see budget stuff at outdoor stores. And it's a very tempting thing to buy some of that budget stuff. And a lot of people do buy it. So this is one budget item that I'm talking about. This is from Summit Trail. It's a tomahawk right here. So uh, this is about a $25 tomahawk. I bought it for $24.99 at Shields in my state. Very basic tomahawk, has a polymer handle, just like you would see on the SOG series hatchets and tomahawks. Very similar. There's really no frills to it. So for $25, that's about the cost of three meals at McDonald's, give or take. Uh, what are you getting with it? So first off, right off, I'm just going to tell you, don't use it for heavy uses. And don't use it as a throwing tomahawk. I firmly believe if you throw this, and there's a lot of reviews out there that back this up, if you throw this repeatedly, it's just going to break. Sometimes it breaks on the first throw. just depends on how hard it's being thrown and what happens. So this is definitely not something meant for hard use. So let's just talk about it real quick. It's 420 stainless steel. So the head right here, the axe head is 420 stainless steel. And the axe head itself is pretty nice. I'll be honest. It's pretty sharp. As far as, as, far as a fighting axe is concerned, I like the profile right here, the beard profile on the axe head. This right here, it's a nice profile here, but it's not sharp. So I kind of like that. It is molded right in here for, if I want to bring my hand right up, it fits perfectly right in there. So I like that. I like the head of this very well. It has some lightning holes, I guess, right there. Uh, I don't think they're needed, but uh, that's just a design choice. I think I would have just left it straight. I wouldn't have put those holes in there. I'd have just left it, uh, left the material in. Uh, the head is, is decent. It's not overly machined, but that's okay. I'm looking for something that's just more utilitarian or whatnot. If I'm buying at this price point, I'm not looking for a display piece necessarily. Uh, the branding, yeah, whatever. I'm not a big fan of branding on products. So I think it looks kind of ugly. They could take that off and they could recess it in right in here or something like that if they really wanted to or, or whatever, put it on the bottom maybe. But uh, yeah, didn't need to be right there. So uh, this comes down, it's fastened to this plastic, this polymer handle right here. You have three points right there and there's uh, uh, hex heads on each side. And they were slightly loose. The head and the handle had just a little bit of play in it. So I tightened these up when I got home and that took care of that. But uh, that's one thing to just check if you're buying one of these. You got to remember this is entry level type stuff. Don't expect a whole lot for it. Okay. Um, you need to make sure to just double check those things. So coming on down, the handle itself is decently uh, molded. It does have a spot you can put a lanyard in if you wish. Uh, the thing about this handle, though, and I'll try and show you here, maybe you'll see, but it bends, okay? And that's on each side. It bends, and then if I move it like so, it bends as well that way. So it bends in this direction, and it also bends in this direction. So uh, when you compare it to something like this right here for is about twice the price. This is a tomahawk. This is a tomahawk from Sog. This one will not bend. It's a lot more sturdy. Okay, this can still break, but it's a little bit more sturdy than the bendable polymer right here. So first off, what does that tell me? Uh, don't throw it. You can, but if you throw it around, you're probably going to break it pretty fast. And it, it seems like the reviews support that. So don't throw it around. Uh, also, don't use it for heavy tasks, for heavy cutting. Tomahawks, I never really considered a heavy a heavy cutter anyway. Uh, you know, a good made tomahawk, you can use it for that. You certainly can, but uh, I, I never really considered it. That's just me. A tomahawk is, it, this is more of a fighting axe type setup. And that's what I'm kind of interested in right now is the fighting axes for self-defense. Are they worth it? So, with that said, does this make a good self-defense axe? Yes and no. Um, I think it'll work. It certainly will work. 
The axe head here is certainly sharp. I love this beard design right here. It comes down to an extremely sharp point, so if you're hooking behind the head, hooking behind a limb or something like that, it's gonna dig in. That's just something, I mean, that's that's a neat little design there that I think is gonna work out well. The pick is well made, I think, too. Uh, it's not sharp, but it's good enough to do the job. So as far as self-defense, as far as a self-defense tool, the design of it is awesome. But again, I think under harsh use, if it gets blocked, if you're impacting against another weapon, impacting against a wall or, or, or something hits it, there's a good chance it's going to break. So keep in mind, if you're going to get this for self-defense type purposes, then just kind of keep those limitations in mind. Now, what about a trainer? What about if you're just getting into tomahawks, just getting into axe fighting, and you want to learn some of the techniques, but you're not interested in spending $100 on an axe or $300 or whatnot. Good to go. This will get you something where you can get the basics down, maybe. You can get some techniques down, figure out if it's your cup of tea, and then go from there. So um, I think there's better ones out there. This one is $25. Bucks. I mean, you spend another $25, and you'll get this SOG, which I think is just a better, it's a more heavier, well-made type tomahawk. It still has issues. I mean, it's still a budget price tomahawk, but it'll last longer, I think, than the $25 deal. Uh, as far as, you know, wrapping paracord around there, I don't, I don't see any issues specifically with the grip as far as it getting slippery. You can throw some paracord on it if you want. It's up to you. But this thing, I think, is more just uh, kind of a practice, lightweight use, and just expect. I mean, you're spending $25. There's only so much you're going to get. It really is. And um, it seems like they put most of that into the blade here and to the head. So you're not going to get a whole lot down here at the handle. So it's a good starter axe, in my opinion. If you want to train with it, mess around with it a little bit, that's great. If you want to do some light cutting, like some branch cutting, some shearing of bark and whatnot, I mean, I really think this will do well for bark. Shearing bark and stuff like that. This is a very, very uh, sharp head right here. So it will have no problem shearing bark off a tree, stuff like that. So um, something like that. Perfect. Perfect. And, and it makes a good gift idea and whatnot. But just don't expect any heavy, heavy use out of it. That's just my opinion. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. As always, feel free to let me know what you think of these blade reviews. Leave a comment. You know the whole deal. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Support. Support my channel by subscribing. Support all the other gun and blade guys out there by subscribing as well. And uh, again, throw out your comments. I urge you, if you watch this video, to leave a comment and let us know if you have any experience with these, whether it's good or bad. Or if you have any good ideas on what a good tomahawk would be that's not overly expensive. Uh, I know Cold Steel makes some good ones. SOG makes some decent ones. Um, I know there's several other brands out there. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe.